But what was your experience with, as a social media influencer, obviously you have a lot of followers and that can be good and bad. We all know that. Yes. Um, the more influence the Lord gives you, it's like, That's you awesome. know, there's just more people that can come attack you and do all kinds of crazy things that are just sent by the enemy. So when you guys decided to step out into foster care, what was your experience as a social media influencer with just people's comments or I don't know what they thought about um, you doing that? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, we, so we started in March of 2022 and we didn't announce until I believe July, June or July. So we, we waited until we we're about two thirds of the way through the process. Um, we just wanted to make sure that this is really what we want to do and make sure that we, um, you know, just wanted to share that with the world. Cause it is a very vulnerable thing. Um, I wouldn't change it for anything. The fact that we shared, I, I'm grateful that we did because there were a lot of families that messaged me saying we became foster parents because of your journey or we're wow. in the becoming foster parents. And so, you know, it, again, it's, you hesitate because there are certain things to keep private from social media. Um, but I, I felt very called to share our journey and I, I'm, I'm grateful because it didn't just affect the lives of the two children that we fostered thus far, but it affected foster kids around the, the country. Yes. Um, wow. Families that are stepping up to the plate and now have placements. And yeah. it's just so beautiful to watch. So I think, um, you know, I like to say for every bad comment, there's 200 supportive ones. And, yeah. and that's really, that's really the narrative. And when you, you look at it that way, and statistically speaking, you're like, it really, it really weighs down the, the bad comments. Like it like doesn't 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.00000001%. <laughs> Yeah. And so yeah. I think you just have to know, like, there's always going to be people that don't agree with what you're doing. And I'm sorry, but if you don't agree with being a foster parent, like that says a lot about your heart and where you're at, because these kids need help and yes. these kids need parents, someone yes. to step up, you know, to the plate and, and love them in the gap and stand with them in the gap. Um, until reconciliation or adoption happens. And so, um, yeah, I think we just kind of knew I, I have very thick skin. Yeah. <laughs> very, I mean, you've been through a lot. So yeah. yeah, I think the Lord, I don't, you know, obviously my past was somewhat self-imposed. I didn't I, the Lord <laughs> did not want me to do all of those things, but with my own right. stupid free will, I chose to. And I do think that what the enemy sends for evil, God can use for good. And Absolutely. I think that, he absolutely turned all of that, just those horrible things. And he, he gave me a shield around me that mm -hmm. um, allows me to go into situations and, and read things and see articles about me that I'm like, okay, cool. What's next? Like, like just completely unfazed where in my past, I would have been a mess for days um, yeah. if not weeks, and, and terrified to show back up again. But um, you know, the Lord equips you when you're called. And I think yes. that's, that's what he's doing. And so when it comes to foster care, I think, there's a lot of people out there that have opinions and very loud ones at that. And at the end of the day, who's really stepping up to make a difference? It's the foster parents. Like right. if you guys have people that are criticizing what you're doing and not agreeing with it, like don't let that affect your calling. Um, if you're, if you're called to this arena, the Lord's going to, he's going to provide, he's going to make a way. He's going to show you how he's going to give you the plan and, and the supernatural strategy. And so 